Are you frustrated at only relying on the pace clock to determine your speed in the water? There are important variables to consider in your training that you may be overlooking. Hey everyone, this is Coach Mandy, and in this video, I will be explaining some key variables that are important and relevant for your training. Now, before I get into detail, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when I post videos weekly. So I'm sure many of you watching this video have experienced or really focused a majority of your time, if not all of it, on the pace clock or a Garmin watch. Maybe you've also experienced that your level of exertion doesn't truly reflect the distance that you have completed, whether it's you're swimming for fitness, you're swimming in a master's program, you're a triathlete out in open water, or you're on a competitive team. So the pace clock, or really the elapsed time that it takes for you to complete a distance, is just one small factor compared to the entire big picture of your performance. So instead of just staring at the pace clock and hoping you get the time that you want, there's some important measurements to pay attention to. You can actually determine your pace without the use of a pace clock. And in order to do so, you have to have a thorough understanding of each variable or parameter first. So keep watching. So here are my top four variables that you should know for your training. And as a side note, the stroke that I use as a reference is freestyle. And as a bonus, I've added a, another variable to consider at the end of the video. So of course, keep watching. All right, so that goes to the first point, which is stroke count or SPL, which stands for strokes per length. Now a stroke count is determined by one hand entry. For example, when your right arm or a swimmer's right hand enters the water, that's considered one stroke. So for example, if a swimmer completes 25 yards with a five yard push off in 17 strokes, then their SPL or their stroke count would be 17. So that goes on to my second point, which is an important one. This is called stroke length. Now stroke length in yards is determined by the distance traveled in one stroke. And that is also factoring the push off. For example, if a swimmer pushes off and takes their strokes after the five yard mark. That means that they are swimming a true 20 yards in a short course pool. So within those 20 yards, if that swimmer completes that distance in 17 strokes, you take the distance traveled divided by the stroke count, which will determine your stroke length. So in this case, it would be 1.18 yards per stroke. All right, so that goes to my third point, which is strokes per minute. And it's pretty much explained in the title, and that is how many strokes a swimmer takes in a minute. Now you can determine or measure this the old school way, which is actually have somebody time you, but that might be unrealistic and you won't have that option. However, there's an easier way to calculate your strokes per minute, and that is using the Tempo Trainer device. And I've included a quick link to that video that I have posted a week before, as well as I will add a bonus tip at the end of this video to determine what's the best mode to use to find out what your strokes per minute are. Now that goes on to my fourth point, which is tempo. And that really is elapsed time. It is the amount of time it takes to complete one stroke. For example, if my tempo is 1.1 seconds, and this will be in seconds, if it is 1.1 seconds, then that is the time it takes for me to complete one stroke. Now, if you use a tempo trainer device, it gives you a sort of constant so that you know that you are exactly swimming at that tempo and it doesn't change. All right, so I hope each variable that I have explained makes sense. And as promised, I have added a bonus tip at the end of this video, and that is an extra variable to consider that will help with your training. And that is RPE, or better known as rate of perceived exertion. I like to use a scale of one to 10, being one being you're sleeping, and a 10 is an all out sprint, and something that you can't necessarily sustain for a long period of time. Now, if you're a triathlete or a long distance swimmer and your goal is to be efficient and save your energy for the bike and run, it's important to be training or really your overall rate of perceived exertion for that swim should be around a six or a seven. If you are going past a seven, more into an eight or nine, then you're probably swimming a little bit too quickly and you're going to be wasting more energy and overall your efficiency will decrease. So your goal is to stay within a six or a seven if you are a distance swimmer. Of course, as an added extra tip that I explained from strokes per minute is the mode that you want to set your tempo trainer at in order to determine this number. And it's actually quite simple. You're going to use mode one. For example, if the tempo at mode one is at 1.10, which is 1.1 seconds per beep or stroke, is you just take 60 seconds divided by 1.1 and that determines your strokes per minute. 
Once you have your strokes per minute, you can set it to mode three if you like. It's completely your option. All right, so I wanna end this video with a challenge for you. If you've never counted your strokes, and I mean physically count, without the reliance of a Garmin watch or some other counting device, I want you to go to the pool the next time you practice and count your strokes and find out where you average. And if you know what that is already, or if you're gonna to go to the pool and try it out, drop a comment below and let me know what it is. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and click the links in the description below to help with your training. All right, you guys, I'm signing off. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, stay tuned for more.